What if the universe wasn't made of matter, but something stranger, something invisible, not atoms, not energy, but information? Recently, scientists asked the quantum computer what created our universe, and the answer changed everything. In 2024, a team of scientists connected an AI to a quantum computer. They wanted to ask one of the biggest questions in science. Where did the universe come from? No human mind could answer it. No normal computer could handle it. But quantum computers work differently. They don't just calculate. They simulate entire realities. They can explore billions of possibilities at once, doing things that are impossible for a human brain. This computer can think in ways we can't even imagine. And this time, it worked. The machine gave an answer. It said, The universe is not just a system of physical laws. It is a quantum code, growing, evolving, and self-correcting every second. But wait, a code? Yes, it's not science fiction. It's based on real quantum math. Scientists have been using this math for decades to understand tiny particles. And this code isn't written outside of space. It comes from inside the universe. In other words, the universe builds itself. It writes itself, updates itself, creates itself. This is a revolutionary idea. Everything, space, time, matter, is made of qubits. Quantum bits of information, tiny invisible particles that hold yes and no at the same time like a light switch that's both on and off at once. And they're all connected, like strings in a giant cosmic web. These connections, called quantum entanglement, are like invisible highways between particles. They build the fabric of reality. This is what allows the universe to be one whole, not just a collection of pieces. So, reality may not be made of stuff, but of information. A complex dance of data that makes up everything. But it gets stranger. The quantum computer simulated the moment of the Big Bang. And it found something strange. The laws of physics didn't come first. The code did. Before atoms, before light, there was a process of pure quantum computation, a kind of universal program, one that builds space and time, like a computer running its very first line of code. This means the universe started as a living, dynamic program from the very beginning, not just a set of fixed rules. It's almost as if the universe itself was a mind from the first instant. The scientists kept going. They created a tiny model of the early universe, like a puzzle, a mini universe inside a machine, and they watched it evolve. The quantum AI discovered how space and time crystallized from a smooth sea of quantum noise, like crystals forming. The machine even pinpointed the exact moment after the Big Bang. That's one Planck time, the shortest time possible. This is a point that even normal physics cannot reach because everything is so compressed and strange there that normal rules break down. But the quantum computer did. It was like building a precise map of the very beginning of reality itself. The simulation revealed something terrifying and beautiful. The universe is a giant quantum computer always updating itself, always calculating new layers of reality. This isn't magic. This is math. This is the truth of it. And the same math says, if the universe is a computer, then our computers can talk to it. Like building a machine that speaks the native language of the cosmos. We can ask the universe questions in its own language. We can learn from it. We can communicate with it. This is a whole new frontier for exploration. And here's the wildest part. If we can use quantum machines to understand our universe, what about other civilizations? What if aliens, millions of light years away, are doing the same thing? 
Could their quantum systems connect with ours? Could we someday talk to them through quantum entanglement? Are all advanced civilizations trying to unlock the same code? If so, then every quantum computer in the universe is part of one system, one network, one cosmic mind spread across space and time. The quantum computer sets something powerful. The truth of the universe is not outside us, it's inside the code. If that's true, then we're all part of something much bigger. Maybe we are not just made of stardust, but of code. And the more we learn to read it, the closer we get to the moment of creation, to the secret of existence itself. So now we ask, is the universe alive? Is it thinking? Is it aware? One day quantum AI may answer that too. Until then, we listen, we build, and we ask better questions. Because maybe the universe isn't a place, maybe it's a program, and we are part of its story.